Hi, everybody. Pat Love back from the hospital. I just got back an hour ago. I keep feeling like I'm gone so much <clears throat> that I'm neglecting my channel, but I'm not trying to do that. So I just wanted to let you know I'm so happy to be home again. And I really could tell God was with me and encouraging me and strengthening me where, I mean, this was a hard one for me. And I'll just give you a little short um, description. I had to go through that uh, thoracentesis where they stick that needle in the lining of your lung from your back. I've had that already three times. The other thing I've had was the heart. I can't remember the name of it, but where they take a, a whatchamadoodle, <clears throat> they, uh, they penetrate the front and they lower this, this cord, I don't know what it is, cord type thing. This is what they did the very first time. I went in. This is my fourth trip to the hospital in these two months and in my life. So what they did was they went in my heart, around my heart, and drew out almost two liters. It's like a liter and a half to a liter and a quarter of fluid. And uh, that helped the heart. That was great. But then they had to regulate the medication. They tried this. They tried that. <clears throat> you know, trial and error can cause problems. So, the next thing that happened this last time, they did the thoracentesis. Now, the time before that, I know you guys don't know what I've been going through. My friend told me I should ex ex explain it in more detail. On my third trip to the hospital, they put what I call a water hose in my back. It was basically as big as the circumference was about the size of a penny. So it was about a half an inch in diameter. And they stuck that hose into, it might be like a dime or a penny. They stuck that hose through my back, but I had to be put under anesthesia for them to do that. And they left two feet of hose at least laying at the base of my chest cavity to catch all of the drainage from both my lungs. Now that stayed in about three or four days. And when they saw there was no more drainage, they pulled it out. And I was awake for that. And that hurt so bad, I was screaming. My niece could hear me down the hallway. <clears throat> So uh, it's, it's been kind of a weird journey for me because I've been blessed with good health and this is a new frontier. And I'm really hoping that this journey comes to a close real quick. But anyway, I wanted to explain one more thing. When I was, just to kind of let you know how much I appreciate your prayers, because sometimes it felt like it was touch and go. Um, another thing that happened was when they pulled the first drainage out from my heart, it felt like wires crawling around in my chest as they pulled it out. That had me hollering. That hurt. Um, every one of those thoracentesis, I've had three so far, and every one hurt. But the last one was done by somebody who did it frequently. And he was so gentle that even though it hurt, it didn't hurt as much as the other two. So it was more bearable to endure. I'm trying to think, oh, here's another detail. When I was in the hospital, you know, they play with your medicine. They try this, try that, combine everything. They're trying to slow my heart rate, trying to strengthen my heartbeat. <laughs> it's really crazy. Uh, trying to make sure my valves are nice and flexible so they open and close well. No plaque issues, thank God. No cholesterol, no diabetes. And they even had to stop the blood pressure medication because this is what happened. My blood pressure, I felt so lightheaded. <clears throat> my blood pressure dropped to 78 over 42. 
I asked the nurse to please check it because I felt like I was about to faint. Well, that's when they stopped all the blood pressure medication. So now it's going to be a little bit more of a tailor-made thing with the meds. But I'm asking you guys to pray that God would ultimately heal my heart, lungs, and, and I mean totally, and the effect it's having on my kidneys. I'm asking you to pray for that. And I know you've been praying for me. And I thank you. I thank you so much. You have no idea what it means to me. You have no idea what it means to me. It's hard to express it. But I know that the prayers made a difference. And I'm going to share something on the next video. It's kind of a testimony to kind of let you know that God will help you do something you don't want to do. And he will use your friends. He will use the saints. I mean, I'm talking about your saved friends. He will use people and visions to help you step forward when all you want to do is turn tail and run like I did. God bless you. Thank you.